Welcome back everyone, Alpaca Place 9000 here and today I wanted to continue sharing some locales I've been adding to my island. In my last video, I went over how to get your island diner started. But in today's video, we'll get you even more customers with your very own beach bar. First things first, it may seem obvious and even redundant, but go over your map and decide where you'd like your beach bar to be. For me, I wanted it to be frequented quite often, so I avoided placing it in the further coast. Instead, I opted in this beach right here since my plaza is right above it, and not to mention almost all my villagers have their beach homes lined up here. Once you have a good idea of where your beach bar should go, you can begin working on fencing your area. I like the idea of fencing the bar in order to make it stand out from the rest of my beach props like umbrellas and towels. Although when I first began working on it, there were no fences, just an open area, so it really depends on your taste. For fencing, I used a straw fence since it looked tropical and perfect to go near the beach. However, I must warn you that your fence won't be straight or perfect. Something I didn't realize until after I began working on my fencing was that the beach waves hitting the shore aren't straight. That means that you'll either end up closing accessibility to fishing spots or you'll have a choppy fence. I opted for a choppy fence where there's fencing in some areas and not in others in order to allow me to still reach the ocean and fish. Despite being bumped over the fact that it didn't look as clean and linear as I intended, it actually works because the straw fencing looks cute when it's in short intervals versus just a long flat straw fence. Also, in areas between the beach and my island, I realized there were uneven parts, but what I did to conceal the inconsistencies was place furniture in the gaps. For example, the jukebox here and the palm tree light help disguise the gap between the stalls. Always remember to improvise and get creative. Give yourself some leeway and above all, don't panic. There's more than one way to skin a fish. Now for furniture. I already showed the stalls I added where I imagine non-alcoholic cocoa drinks are sold. And you obviously are going to need a jukebox for ambience. But the must for your beach bar has got to be these beautiful palm tree lights. The palm tree lights are customizable, so you can either go all blue, pink, or neon green. Or, like me, you can include one of each. Regardless, these beautifully light up your beach bar. For tables, I like the iron garden tables and chairs. They were one of the first few recipes I received and rather easy to make. They also don't take up much space and can be customized into a bronze or white, as well as the green I have here. But of course, if you have other preferred furniture, you can always improvise, but make sure to have two chairs so you can sip away with your buddies. Speaking of drinks, I almost forgot to mention these coconut drinks. They are a DIY recipe and only take one coconut to make. Super easy and super cute. Place these freely around your beach bar. Well, there you have it. I've outlined how I made my beach bar for my island. How are you decorating your beach bars? Share your ideas down below. And if this video has helped inspire you in any way, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. This has been Alpaca Place 9000, creating a beach bar. Thank you for watching.